Live from the Saban Theater in Los Angeles, it's the first annual International Fashion Film Awards. Welcome your hosts for this evening, Jordan Sparks and Jonathan Ross. Let's hear it for the fabulous dance group Carmography once again, ladies and gentlemen. What a, an incredible performance. What a great start to the show. In addition to our eight awards this evening, we're going to be honoring some outstanding individuals who richly deserve the label icon of their particular field. Of course, many would love to be an icon, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. But just what is an icon, Jonathan? I'm glad you asked. Well, Jordan, mm. Wikipedia defines an icon as anything that's made by Apple. <laughs> but a more accurate definition is a person whose achievements have made them worthy of veneration. And our recipients tonight certainly live up to that description. It's going to be a tremendous evening. We thank you all for joining us here. So let's get to it, you guys. Yes, we're going to have a blast. Please welcome our first presenter of the night, actor and model, Tyson Beckford. Tyson. Tonight, we honor the exceptional work in fashion film this year. From actors to stylists to artists, directors, their collaborations were truly transcending. And the winner is... Zero. I'd like to first thank all of my fans for making this dream of winning this award come true. I'd also like to thank everyone who's worked with me on these films, including Caesar, Loki, and Draco. From Zarkana at Aria Resort in Las Vegas, we present The Mad Scientist, designed by Alan Brenetel. The Mad Scientist is part of The Movers, a collection of eclectic spirits that inhabit the world of Zarkana. The costume features various white fabrics made of natural cottons, textured linens, and shaded silks. These are combined with a strong silhouette to evoke a mad scientist coming back to life, including a pair of eccentric glasses made from six different optical accessories that illuminate in a variety of colors. From Michael Jackson 1 at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, we present Dirty Diana. Designed by Zaldi Goko, 
Dirty Diana contains over 7,000 Swarovski crystals and took over 100 hours to create. She performs on stage as a staggering, one-of-a-kind pole dancing act. Her sonic tonic fusion of acrobatics, dance, and visuals take the audience on an immersive journey through the music and spirit of Michael Jackson. From O at Bellagio in Las Vegas, we present Crazy Merrier, wearing the Elizabethan. Designed by Dominique Lemieux, the costume is made from silk velvet with silicone and hand-applied gold foil applique. Intricacies of an Elizabethan era wedding gown. The lower section of the dress is lined with a vinyl to protect the fabric from the 1.5 million gallons of water that consumes the O stage. The timeless production of O pays tribute to the beauty of the theater. From the simplest street performances to the most lavish of operas, where anything is possible and where the drama of life plays itself out before our very eyes. From Chris Angel Believe at Luxor in Las Vegas, we present the Weird Torian doll. Designed by Meredith Caron, the overall look of the show is imbued with the patina of a Torian atmosphere overlaid with a dreamlike surrealism. Unlike traditional magic themed shows, Chris Angel Believe transcends any preconceived notion of what it means to be emotionally engaged by the arts of mysticism and illusion. From Mystere at Treasure Island in Las Vegas, we present the White Bird of Prey. Designed by Dominique Lemieux, the costume took 204 distinct body measurements to perfectly fit the artist and is constructed of tactile. The female white word represents the graceful part of a dancing white bird male-female duo, and she seduces instantly. Presented through a vibrant kaleidoscope of powerful athleticism and inspiring imagery, Mystere is a pure Cirque du Soleil production featuring an exhilarating blend of thrilling acrobatic acts, powerful music, and colorful costumes and sets. From Ka at MGM Grand in Las Vegas, we present The Empress. Designed by Marie Chantal Vaillancourt, the costume is constructed of 26 fabrics and 11 trims, including the same material used for toothbrush bristles for the hair. Presented in the unique Ka Theater, this heroic tale unfolds on a colossal 360-degree rotating stage which forms the backdrop for a cinematic journey of aerial adventure and perpendicular acrobatics. From the Beatles' love at the Mirage in Las Vegas, we present Her Majesty the Queen. Designed by Philippe Guillotel, the costume shows the perfect front of the royalty with the inner workings in the back. She symbolizes the pride of a nation and the affection the British citizens have for their country. The Beatles' love storyline captures the essence of love that John, Paul, George, and Ringo inspired during their astonishing adventure together. From Zumanity at New York, New York Hotel in Las Vegas, we present Arno, the God of Love. Designed by Thierry Mugler, Arno is beautiful and blasé, a distracted Aryan deity. He comes from a different world. The garment features 6,800 rhinestones, and the headpiece is constructed using 110 feathers. Zumanity, the sensual side of Cirque du Soleil, is the seductive twist on reality, making the provocative playful and the forbidden electrifying. This adult-themed production takes you on a sexy thrill ride full of sensational acrobatics and naughty fun. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for this amazing Cirque du Soleil spectacle. I'm still recovering from that Cirque du Soleil outfit with the cod piece. That was, uh, <laughs> uh, I might buy that and go home and surprise my wife. Although, 
I suspect she'd before if he went home and surprised her in it, to be frank with you. Please welcome pop icon Lance Bass. Hello. All right, tonight we honor two groundbreaking figures in fashion and television. Together for 20 years, this accomplished mother-daughter duo revolutionized our experience with the red carpet culture forever. Controversial, their honesty is no stranger to the headlines, but Joan's comedy is as genius as Melissa's producing mind is brilliant. Branching out from the red carpet to their own hit We TV show, Joan and Melissa, Joan Knows Best, which just wrapped its fourth season, their trademark banter continues to make them must-watch television. With Melissa as executive producer of Fashion Police, she and Joan have once again transformed our fashion experience, giving their audience a platform to voice their opinions about the global runway. Fearless and unapologetic, these two females continue to inspire women around the world. Lovers of fashion know that alongside Melissa, it was Joan who coined the now famous question, who are you wearing? Joan and Melissa Rivers are pioneers, rebels, icons. I thank all of you so much for watching us tonight. It's a time when fabulously dressed stars gather to stab each other in their fabulous bags. Tell me who you were wearing today. Now, what are you wearing? Look at this. The dress that you just wish you could take at home. This evening is always bursting with excitement. But that's what live is all about. How does it feel to be standing here tonight? Melissa, take it away. Hi, Mom. I'm back, Melissa. I did like the color of her dress. People don't listen. Okay, you're scaring me now. Did you always know you were very creative? When she does it right, you can't touch it. Love the tuxedo. Love the leather. The construction of this dress is phenomenal. I've never seen a floor length sports bra before. I think it looks a little flying monkey. Her feet look like someone give a gorilla a pedicure. No, I'm not sure. I can't. I think I see her nipples. It, it looks like her, her vagina just won a beauty contest. Oh, the skank. I know how you talk. You watch it, bitch. Why are you wearing those stupid flats? The flower's stupid. It was just fucking amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me congratulate tonight's Icon Award recipients, Joan and Melissa Rivers. I'm pretty sure my mom's talking first as usual. Missy, can you hear me out there? Hello, hello, hello. By the way, Missy, I love what you're wearing. Of course, I wish you would have shown a little more cleavage, but anyhow, let me just do my thank you. Uh, when I first heard that the International Fashion Film Awards wanted to honor Melissa and me for their first ever Icon Award, my first thought was, is there a cash prize? But then... <laughs> My second thought was how wonderful it is to have this kind of an award. As lovers of fashion, all of you out there know that fashion um, is something you either have or you don't have, like Hermes. So <laughs> before Melissa takes the award, let me just say something to you in front of everybody, Melissa. You are chic, you are fabulous, you are stylish, you are funny, you make me so happy as a mother that I absolutely Forgive you for not being the gay son that I really, really, really want to. Anyhow, I want to thank you all again. The award means a lot. And Melissa, please accept it for both of us and say something wonderful that will make our family proud. <laughs> On behalf of my mother and I, we really need to thank E! Entertainment Television, who 20 years ago took a chance on us and fashion programming, and we started out with four cameras on the red carpet, and one of our poor, very straight cameramen shoved in with a paparazzi, begging women to show them his, their shoes <laughs> and their dresses. Uh, and without E, none of us, none of this fashion programming would have been coming on. So many of our great crews and all of you, but I guess really I just need to get to the point, which is the big question everybody wants to know, which is, the shoes are Louboutin, the dress is vintage Pucci, and because of 20 years of fashion programming, jewelry is mine tonight, bitches. Actress, Radha Mitchell. Fashion 
is cyclic, and we find in our wardrobes the trends of our parents and grandparents as they did in theirs, perhaps because beauty is timeless. So let us celebrate the prolific men and women who ignite the passions for art and fashion, such visionaries as Coco Chanel, Christian Dior, Alexander McQueen, and so very many more whose lives and careers have influenced us all here tonight. To perform a theme composed by his colleague, CJ Vanston, please welcome Michael Fitzpatrick. I love that. I've always wanted to accept an award, too. Um, the final nominee for Best Fashion Film features visuals every bit as splendid as the story they tell. With the ever-inspiring sea as its backdrop, the complex characters divulge their intricate tale of mystery, sacrifice, and love. Well, you know, we have a couple of minutes till our next award, and we have some performers coming up for you, but because we have a couple of minutes, they said I could come down here and see what the fashion film audience look like up close. They're spectacular. They smell great. I know what you're wearing. It's uh, Calvin Klein's audience for those who like to watch, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but look who's here, front of center in the, in the row right here. We saw him earlier. Mr. Tyson Beckford, ladies and gentlemen. The big man. Tyson, if I may, I'd like to ask you a personal question. Is that okay? That's okay. Is it correct that you are indeed still single? Uh, as of three months, yes. Wow, okay. Here's my promise to you. If you want to go out after the show with me, I will be your wingman. I'm pretty certain I could get you laid tonight, okay? <laughs> because no one should get to that age and still be a virgin. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Tonight's gonna be a big night for you, little fella. Okay, uh, I have to go over here. On the way, I thought we'd play a game. Feel free to play along at home. I'm gonna try and guess who's fashion, who's film. Okay, so I would say, well, you could belong anywhere. You both look like fashion and film. I would say fashion, am I right? I would say fashion. I would say you're probably just a really rich guy. <laughs> yes. I did a perform, the world premiere of his new single, While We Enjoy That. The single is called Miss Incredible. It's out today. Please welcome recording artist and his one hell of a talent, Mark Ballas. <laughs>
Is there anything he can't do? Truly an incredible performance from Mark, also the models, the dancers tonight, and congratulations once again. Join me in saying well done to Designer of the Year, Eduardo Lucero, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Well deserved, sir. What a great speech to end the evening on, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? What a charming man. And he's funny, and uh, he brought his own handkerchief. Uh, thank you all so much for celebrating the first annual International Fashion Film Awards with us. Yes, I've had a wonderful time co-hosting with Jonathan. I still don't know who you are. Um, and as an actress and lover of fashion, tonight has been truly magical. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the evening, enjoyed time spending uh, that we've spent with so many glamorous and talented people. Congratulations to all tonight's nominees and, of course, winners. Thanks for being with us. Good night, everybody. Good night. Even though you know I'm living 